Today's recipe is an easy cookie recipe that I'm certain you will love and enjoy, especially this festive season when you have children at home and you know they love cookies. Thankfully, you don't need an oven. These cookies are budget friendly, as you will see, and very simple and easy to put together. I mean, it's a cookie recipe that I just put together in a few minutes and then take it to bake and you're done enjoying your cookies so much. And imagine you don't need all purpose food flour, just maize meal and some corn starch or corn flour. So join me for today's simple recipe that I trust you too will love as we are also loving and enjoying it, especially this festive season. Welcome to Recipes in Hospitality with Clara. This is a channel where we share recipes that are simple, easy to do at home with ingredients toned down, just like this one, to enhance your hospitality for the glory of God. And if you're new here and this is the kind of content you like, kindly consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload new content. I upload this kind of content that is very simple to make at home with ingredients that are most likely available right where you are. As is always our custom on this channel, we will pray and trust the Lord to grant us a fruitful time as we work through today's recipe. Indeed, Father, we pray that you will be with me and my viewer. I pray that you will cause your name to be glorified as we work through this recipe and everything else we do in the kitchen. Please be with us, granting that our hospitality will serve you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's begin by combining all the dry ingredients, that's the maize meal flour, the cornstarch or corn flour, the sugar, the salt. Once everything is combined, make a slight well in the center, adding the wet ingredients, that's the egg, the cooking oil, the vanilla essence and the two tablespoons of milk. Begin to combine this to get it to a dough that is not too hard and not too soft. It's somewhere in the middle as you can see. Malleable, so it's not really sticky, but at the same time it's not hard. So this is the one that we are going to work with. So we will set it aside so that we can get to work on the pans in which we will bake our cookies. I'm working with two pans so that I can demonstrate something here. I know some of us when we see gluten free, we do not want to see any all purpose flour anywhere in the recipe. So we are going to work with baking paper in that pan. But in this one, I'm going to grease it with some fudge or fat and then I will dust it with some all purpose flour. And this is for you who might not be having baking paper, but at the same time, you are not having issues with gluten, so you're okay if you dust it with a little all purpose flour. So for this one, this one is the best actually. I like working with baking paper because it's easier to manage, really the pan doesn't get uh, dirty, you don't get your hands dirty having to grease the pan and really it's just easier to do. The only work you will need to do like I did with my scissor is make sure I trim the baking paper in a way that it fits well in my pan and I don't think that is very hard to do. So that's what I have done. So we get back to our dough. I will divide it into two. I will divide it in a way that one of the pieces is bigger for the pan that is bigger and the other one is smaller for the pan that is smaller. This smaller one I'm dividing it into six pieces. I mean just use your discretion to be able to divide it the best way you know how. I'm simply using a spoon in order to divide it into six pieces that are, are as equal as I can get them to be. If I find one piece is too small, I just pinch a little of the dough from one of the pieces and add to it. So I make a round shape and then I press it gently so that it can flatten out slightly. And then what I'm going to do is I will press it further down with my fork. Of course, this is for decoration as well so that they just look nice. Yeah, but the fork is just helping to flatten it out further. 
and then thankfully it's not sticking too much on the surface so just using the fork again to get it off the surface and onto our pan so i'm going to do this to all of them so that the six pieces i will arrange in the smaller pan and of course the other pan had about seven pieces of the cookies so again the same let me demonstrate with another one again just the same process i used for the first one and i'll do this to the rest of them and transfer them into the pans arranging them just leaving some space in between the cookies so that's how they look i also did the same to the other pan so i will place it because remember we are baking on our gas stove top so i'm placing it on full flame for about 20 to 30 seconds and as you see this pan the lid of the pan covers it very tightly so i like to leave some space for steam to escape because if it doesn't escape it drops back onto the cookies and i'm sure we do not like that so once we have it on full frame for about 20 to 30 seconds we will not reduce it that way the way it has been designed to reduce to its lowest because that's too high and it's going to burn your cookies before they are ready so we are going to take the flame back up and reduce it as though we are switching off really slowly so that you can get it to the lowest the kind that if you blew really hard on it it would actually go off this one is usually sometimes tricky to get to but just keep working on it until you get to this very low flame that's the one that's going to bake your cookies for about 20 to 30 minutes somewhere around there for this very small burner of plate on my gas cooker usually i work with it differently because it's really small so it has a smaller flame i take it to full flame just to heat up the pan for about 20 to 30 seconds or so and then when i reduce it the way it's been designed by the manufacturer to get to its lowest this flame is too small usually it will work very well in baking our cookies but just make sure that you confirm with your burner so that even if it's small it might have very high heat you have to perhaps reduce the way we reduce the other one so just make sure you know your burner but for most cookers i know that small one is usually very small and it will bake your cookies as well so we've done about 25 minutes for these ones and that's how they looked and you can see on the surface they are still cream so we are going to turn them over so that they can cook for about this one you can see it's a bit slow so we are going to give them 15 minutes so that they can brown nicely on that upper part for these ones the smaller flame like i told you it could work differently this one cooked very fast so we will turn them over and we are going to give them about 10 minutes because this one just needs about 10 minutes and the cookies will be ready so that they can brown also on that top surface Our first cookies are ready, the ones that I gave 10 minutes, you can see how they look. Yeah, so you can see the smaller burner is quite fast, so perhaps you can give it 20 minutes, just in case it works like mine. For this other burner, after 15 minutes, the cookies were done. You can see they are just nicely brown, looking very nice as well. So you can see, like I said, this is a very, very simple cookie recipe that i'm certain if you try it you will enjoy we really loved it actually as some of those who tasted wondered oh is this maize meal i mean they taste so nice i trust you too will enjoy when you try out these cookies that are really nice crunchy chew i mean you will love them so enhance your hospitality for the glory of god if you enjoyed this cookie recipe, I'm certain you will enjoy this one as well. It's also gluten free and you could check out also the, a playlist on our channel where we have a number of cookie recipes that are very simple to make, especially during this season when you might be wondering what to do with your children. That's one of the things you can do in the kitchen. Make cookies and have them enjoy, you know, with their neighborhood friends and uh, those who visit during this season. So thank you so much for joining me look out for our next recipe again a very simple easy one to make that i'm certain you will also love and enjoy and until that next recipe see you then 
all in this video right here.